do Western men or women settle down with foreign women? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And why um, do you say that? Well, I grew up in Germany and Korea um, as a military brat. So the majority of my friends were black and German, black and uh, Korean, black and Filipino. I mean, man, it, the, 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 the rainbow extended far beyond any kind of combination, black and Belgian, black and Dutch. I mean, it was just, it was just amazing to see the different um, ethnicity com and, and, you know, combinations mm -hmm. um, that I explored, you know, living overseas for 10 years. And I was just like, and this is not normal, but of course, being from somewhere like Fayetteville, North Carolina. So when you get back to Fayetteville, it's the same exact thing. Um, you know, it's home to the 82nd Airborne. It's like one of the largest army bases. So I've never really experienced, um, you know, towns like, I don't know, somewhere in Alabama where it's like black, white, you know, you know, and then you had like a, a trickle in of other, you know, um, ethnicities or races. And so, um, when I when I got to, when I when I went out to I'll tell you a perfect story when I went to Memphis uh, I took a year to work in Memphis man when I tell you like the shock it was to go work in Memphis for a year and this is like before Hustle and Flow came out and when it when it came out I was like yo this shit is exactly like Hustle and Flow like it took me two weeks to get acclimated to what they were saying I was like bro I gotta go I can't I can't do it I can't relate. I had to, I had to get back. So, uh, but yeah, I, I definitely agree, man, with, with the other young men out here that are, are stating that, you know, Western men are settling down. They absolutely do. And I've seen it for, you know, three decades. So I definitely would, uh, agree with that. All right. I'm glad you're saying that. Uh, number two, numero dos, mm -hmm. uh, how do Western men, uh, or women treat foreign black women like you heard my my hypothesis was they treat them like rental cars they they date them they made them but i don't see them as often get into serious or at least pseudo serious relationships what is your hypothesis now when you say western men we're including all western men it's not just black men right 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 absolutely correct Ah man, these white dudes out here, man, winning with these black women in these other countries, dog. That's why they oh, go. Yeah, they, no they they escape the 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 bureaucracy that they have to deal with in the states. That they oftentimes get a clash with. Um, nowadays, not so much. I mean, it's not popular, but it's happening. Um, but oftentimes they will travel overseas, and I know if plenty of you all, you know, you can see these these Europeans, not necessarily them specifically but i know of, of guys that live here in the united states that are you know from texas and cali and they will you know white guys they they travel down to these these countries um that have a large afro um descendant um population and mm -hmm. man they live you know it's just like the black man going over to southeast asia you know Man, we were winning out there in them streets in the 70s, you know. True, true. Uh, so, so uh, I I don't know. Now, the settling down aspect. That's, see, you said I did that? Yeah, you know, do we know the numbers? Nah. I, I You know, who knows? Who, who really settles down anymore? There's not too many people settling down anyway right now. Um, so, but if we had to say, I would say no. I would agree. I would absolutely say no. There's no settling down. Um, that there's very um, a minute amount that are probably settling down. So yes, I would agree with everything that you all have said as well on that. Okay. Third question. So we're gonna go back to the so you brothers that that you may have put yourself on mute, Greg, Charles. I want to hear what you guys have to say about the third question. Uh, how how do foreign black women, based off of your experiences, how do foreign black women see western men when i say western I, I do mean uh canada and us and uk so when you usually hear me say western that's what i mean canada us and uk how from your experiences uh, we're going to start with greg then charles then uh don i would say how that do they, how do they see 
uh, Wesley. So we're going to start with uh, we're going to start with Gregory, and then we're going to go to Charles, and then we're going to let you uh, uh, be the anchor man, Don. I would say that they um, they see um, us as the same as they, as they do whites. Um, the reason I say that is because we're Americans, and they know we're Americans, so they really don't. They see us in a different light than they would um, the people that are in their town or whatever. So, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's a difference. They don't see us as black, blah, 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 in country, whatever. They just see us as Americans or European or whatever. That's, that's just me. Oh, no point. No, no, no doubt. I, I concur, concur with that. Definitely. Uh, Charles, what do you have to say about that? I would agree too, but I would also add on to this. Passport privilege is a real thing. Once you show that U.S. passport, it gets you into so many areas that the locals can't get to. I could say even here to this day, I I, I go through passport privilege just from the fact that I'm American. I, I think one of the reasons why they, why the police officers that stop me when I'm riding with you guys and you guys are drinking, you you got a buzz. You're having a good time. When I pull out my cellular, uh, even though I'm American, and I pull out my driver's license and I'm American, it's not that I've conformed to being Colombian that makes them respect me a little bit more, but it's the fact that there's an American in this car. So it's a little bit of leeway. When, in, of course, in my case, it doesn't need to be, but I, I do notice that. So you're absolutely correct. Not uh, only that, right. Cali is not really a tourist spot. So the fact that an American is there, it's like, wow, you came here. Right. This is this is this is awesome, you know. And yeah. I like to that too. Yeah. <laughs> Don, I, I got oh uh, so uh, <laughs> that whole uh, Cali uh, Cali is not a, a tourist spot. Yeah, <laughs> that, that is the funniest thing to me because. <laughs> As much as Andre is on YouTube across 70 different channels and saying, <laughs> don't, don't come here and Cali's not a tourist spot, Cali's going to be a tourist spot by June 2022. Like, it's going to blow up and then they can all. Dre, you're you know, messing it up for yourself. You know that, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna, they all going to come back like, hey, man, all these black people coming in here, where they coming from? <laughs> uh, they, and then they're going to have t shirts that get Andre and Andre and Love <laughs> crossing the border. Hey, <laughs> They gonna come find y'all. <laughs> oh man! Uh, but but what was the question, man? I'm sorry, I, this vodka is hitting tonight. Uh, oh man, no doubt. Question? I'm still sipping on mine too. Okay. Uh, how do foreign black women notice mm -hmm. that I said black women? What? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, see Western men or women? Mm. Man, from your perspective, your travels, your experience, your growing up how do they see us um, they, like, like I, I like what greg said in regards to hey they see us as american just like they see the white boys man it's i'll tell you right now uh any any african uh will tell you quick fast in a hurry we're not the same uh, uh you know if, from whatever country they're from in africa they were quick and quick fast in a hurry say hey you, you, we might have the same skin tone but uh you you not me um so i i have encountered that um however europe and asia oh man <laughs> oh man it, the love is amazing um even in mexico when i i studied abroad in mexico right so mm -hmm. uh man i was in guadalajara and i mean mm -hmm. i'm not a, i'm not a tall guy i'm probably like five ten right but down there, I felt like Kobe, like in the streets, like you walking around, oh, and people God. like, people like, oh, you play, you play, you know, football, basketball. They didn't know any better, but you know, legit. Ah, oh, can I touch your hair? Uh, can you say something? Um, can I, can I yeah. kiss you on your cheek? Can I touch your skin? I mean, it was the same thing when I first moved to Germany too. But it's like an infatuation that they have with. Uh, well, I mean, we are, you know. The original man. Yeah, I remember I when I, you know. my first trip to Rome, they asked me if I played rugby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's wow. amazing, man. I love it, man. Uh, that 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 was as a twenty year old 
starting to travel or you know in your your 20s i uh-huh. think you have it opens up your eyes even more beyond the fact of you just getting off a plane in another country where you don't speak their language or maybe you do um but escaping the united states for it may be a brief period of time but once you get off the plane and you're in a whole nother world and people legit well now that you to- youtube is here it's not the same as much but mm-hmm. um Man, you get off the plane, it's like a real live black person is walking downtown Guadalajara. That's like that that was their thing. And like people were like taking pictures with me and shit. I was like, shit, I you know, maybe I am famous, fight, you know, but uh, you know, <laughs> it was uh it was a uh it was definitely a build you up type thing as a black man, and you felt good. Oh man, the 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 feeling that you get. Um, even if you get stopped, I got stopped by the cops living in Panama, man. That's a quick story. So, you know, you got the story about being stopped by the cops. I'm, I'm uh-huh. walking down the street. I'm in the, the, um, the El Cangrejo district, which is like the, it's a little, it's a little ritzy, right? So walking down the street, it's probably like two 30. That's where the host house was. Right. So look at this old 80 year old Panamanian lady. Right. Um, right. so walking back, coming from the bars. And it's in the cops, like two of them, they rolled up on me. And you know, I speak Spanish. That's the number one thing you don't want to do when you get stopped by cops in a native. In a, in a, you want to speak English. Uh, True. Don't, don't want to speak any Spanish. I was like, damn. All right, learn, learn lesson number one right there. So I was speaking Spanish and then I started speaking English. And they, you know, at first they were getting ready to put me against the wall. And, and for that, I was like, wait, wait, what the fuck y'all doing? They, wait, you know, you're. You're American? I was like, yeah. They were like, oh. And, you know, they they legit, oh, okay, we're sorry, blah, blah, blah. We thought she was somebody else. You know, breaks your profile. Uh, of course. At its finest. Uh, so, um, but as soon as you open your mouth and you start speaking that that other language, it's like, ah, oh, man, this is American. We 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 want to avoid all international situations at, at, at any cost. So, um, but I will say. We're sorry, yeah, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right, and they kept they kept pushing it, man. It, it was uh, it was it was definitely amazing. They kept pushing it down the street, and I mean, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, it's privilege. You know, it's definitely privilege that you don't have here in the United States. Like I mean, you don't have that privilege here. Like if they stick their ass here, it's it's going to pop. It, you know, it's definitely on to pop. You, you you either going to jail or you have to come get somebody. Somebody gonna have to come and get you. It's gonna be it's gonna be one or two situations. 